Hey guys, it's Megan. I'm popping in for another Tuesday tip of the week, just as I do every week. One thing that I got asked this week is Cigna claims. They are so different from every other insurance claim. And how do we submit for these to make sure that we're getting payment on them? Um, I haven't been able to crack the code as far as in network versus out of network. Um, but some offices across the country are able to submit just as they do every other claim and receive payment on them. Others have to follow the structure that Cigna requires um, in order to get paid. So if you're having trouble with Cigna claims, I highly recommend submitting the way Cigna wants you to submit. And you can find this on their website. If you're an in-network provider, you can find um, you know, your contracted fees and what they are for each of those um, particular, uh, not codes, but uh, categories that they want you to submit under. So. You would have your banding date, let's say August 24th, 2021, your D8080 code or D80 code. It could be 80, 80, 80, 90, whatever it is. You would submit for that. And then you would submit, you would break it down. So instead of just having the full treatment fee of 6,000 listed, you would list records of $250, initial placement, $2,000, monthly payment, 125 times 12 months. I'm just throwing numbers out there, but you get what I mean. And you would also submit for retention, right? Um, some offices are able to um, put the retention at least on the claim. Cigna generally won't pay out for them until the end of treatment, which you may need to resubmit after that as well. Um, so if you are having trouble with Cigna claims, I highly recommend following that structure, um, breaking down your $6,000 fee, records, initial placement, monthly payments, and, and so on. So uh, I hope this was helpful and we'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.